All right, hey guys, we're back. Uh, another tutorial video here. You can see we're getting one of the new par fives again. It is hole six, par five. And um, this hole's a little bit longer, uh, a little bit more challenging than the uh, old holes. So here we are getting downwind again. Uh, one of the things that I really recommend is a katana ball here for this hole and just focusing on getting the ball out into the fairway somewhere in that opening over there. Um, so one of the ways that I recommend doing this is kind of playing out to the middle of the fairway and spinning it over. It's going to kind of minimize your risk um, and kind of keep that second hop away from hitting the rough um, to where you could accidentally, uh, you know, shorten your drive had you not, uh, you know, created a little bit better angle for your ball to come in. So you can see that I'm cutting it more um, into the opening as opposed to getting too aggressive on that right edge for that second hop. And it's gonna let your ball get over farther and, uh, you know, keep yourself from making, you know, a, a, a little minor mistake. Uh, it is okay if your second ball hits hit that rough and, and rolls through, but you just want to avoid it because it's a, a length thing. So getting it down there a little bit farther is better. Um, in terms of angle, uh, there's no real reason to go right, in my opinion. It's a little bit more closed off fairway, and nothing that I've seen thus far makes this any more advantageous. Um, and as you can see, my opponent here actually makes a mistake trying to go over to the right. So even yet again, another reason not to go right will be to, you know, have consistent. Uh, it is fortunate that my opponent did draw a win that is going to give him straight at the hole. But, uh, you know, all things considered, I would say, you know, stick with this method over here. And you can see with in terms of, you know, every win that I could have, it's not going to necessarily be the easiest shot for me to hold this out. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to predict the way that the hop. So before I even play, you know, I'm going to play more of a mid club adjustment here. So I'm thinking um, eight ish rings for my wind, just a little bit less. Ah, did not want that great ball. So a little unfortunate there, but you can see, you know, your your mistakes are going to be very minimal. Um, the only kind of good thing that you can sometimes get going over this way is you do set yourself up a little bit shorter, but there's no, you can see you close off the green even more over here. So this is kind of a perfect example of showing you that, that you can see that the pin is even, that there's even less pin to roll up. You would have to do something similar to what I'm doing, which is you need to kind of hop it off the rough and side spin it to the left to try to give yourself a little bit more green up in the front. And you can see, you know, it's going to be very hard to stop the ball. So there you can see my opponent putting it on the back of the green. And, you know, that's one of the biggest reasons that, um, you know, all of that, everything that I just kind of mentioned collectively is why I'm going to recommend you guys going to the left for this hole. Um, and also keep in mind, you know, it's very, it's going to be very hard to hit it in the rough going left. And you can see my opponent went right, um, hit it in the rough. And, uh, you know, if he would have got a headwind, wouldn't have been able to get it to the green. So this putt wouldn't have even been possible. <clears throat> So you can see we are going to go to the shootout now, and I'm going to go ahead and split this video up, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.